With just a few simple steps, you can share your Speedify bonded internet connection from your Mac to other devices as a Wi-Fi hotspot that your Mac makes. So first, there's just a couple requirements for your Mac, right? You have to be on Mac OS 11 or later, Bing Sur. I mean, that's really any version of Mac OS in the last four years should be fine. Secondly, because Macs don't support external Wi-Fi cards, you're going to have to use the Wi-Fi card in your Mac to make the hotspot which means the internet connections you combine are going to have to come from somewhere else. Ethernet, USB, tethered phones, all that stuff you can use. Third, make sure you have Speedify downloaded and installed from the Apple App Store on your Mac. Sharing is only supported through the App Store version of the app. If all those requirements are met, run Speedify and connect to a server. You'll see all your available connections in a table underneath the graph. The lines on the graph match up with the colors in the table. If you like this video so far, subscribe to our channel for more how-tos, tech tips, and our weekly office hours live stream where we answer your tech questions live. Now for the actual steps to create your Speedify hotspot. On your Mac, go to System Settings, and then choose General, and then choose Sharing, and then find internet sharing and click the little I next to it. So the first thing you have to do is share your connection from Speedify. If Speedify is connected, it should be the default, but if not, you pull it up and you pick it from the list of all your internet connections. Now, since we want to make a Wi-Fi hotspot, we share two devices using Wi-Fi. So I click Wi-Fi. It may ask me for my username and password. And then it says, configure an internet sharing network. All right, network name will be Speedify's Mac Mini. You can choose the Wi-Fi channel if you want. These high ones above 36 mean you're on five gigahertz. Let's do that. The security, just leave it. And then you set a, a password. And I have chosen a very secure password. So you say, okay. And internet sharing, we turn it on. Once you have that, am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. And as soon as I do that, you notice over in Speedify, the Wi-Fi connection disappears because it's no longer an internet connection. It's now the Wi-Fi hotspot. So now on my phone, I can go pick a Wi-Fi and I go look and in just a second, hopefully we will see our new Wi-Fi hotspot pick up. There it is, Speedify's Mac Mini. I select it. I then come over here and I run a speed test. Let's give this a try, see what happens. And instantly over in Speedify, that usage graph jumps up and you can see that I'm sending 500 megabits through Speedify. And it's coming from this phone, which is on the Wi-Fi hotspot from the Mac, which then feeds it into Speedify and out the bonded internet connection. That's it. I hope that helps. Now that you know how to share your bonded Speedify connection through Wi-Fi from your Mac to your iPhone or any other devices, check out our other video about how Speedify really works because we dive into the details of how we can give you faster, more reliable, and secure internet.